Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. In this vlog we're going to be taking a look at an air awning from Isabella. It's this one here, it's the Isabella Ventura Air Vivo W300. A big title but you can shorten it down to the Vivo. So what do we need to know about it? Well this air awning is suitable for both caravans and motorhomes as it has a, a height of 2 meters and 55 centimeters. It will fit in a standard caravan awning channel or as you can see on this it will fit in the wind out canopy as we can see on this one. It comes with two separate beads so it will fit both and if you have a higher motorhome it is available in a higher height as well so you don't need to worry if you have the canopy box on the top of your motorhome. For the caravan and motorhome height at 255 like this one, it has the blue piping. For the separate motorhome version, it has the orange piping and that is the only difference, the height and the piping. This awning is three metres wide in total. Now our canopy up here is 2.8 metres in length, so we have a slight overhang on each side but it hasn't affected as you can see the performance of the awning so as long as you've got I'd say 2 meters 80 you'll be fine. If you're buying it for a caravan or a motorhome it might be worth just considering that 3 meters where it's going to come on windows, doors or like our motorhome the garage. So there we go what I'll do is I'll hand over to Jules he can show us exactly how it's going to go up what he thinks about it and then we'll have a closer look at it once Jules has done his bit. So Jules, it's over to you. can see this is the first time we've got it out we've even still got all the protective plastic inside so just a quick overview as to exactly what you get in the kit when you first purchase this so as I can feel here you've got the pump just quickly show you that As you can see the Ventura Air, nice ergonomic design. It's actually almost like a boomerang style on the bottom to make it easier to be able to get purchase when you're pumping up. So that's a good little feature. Let's have a look, see what else you get in what I would say would be a little peg bag. There you go. And there we have all the different straps punch your repair kit, all the different straps that you'll need, some pegs, also metal pegs as well, lots of little repair bits, so very comprehensive, lots of bits in there to be able to use. Next we'll have the poles, generic poles that you need to be able to use it with the bungee cord through the middle to make it nice and easy to be able to erect those as and when you need them. I'm not going to empty this out onto here because I don't want to damage obviously this ground sheet. If you end up putting that down it could be sharp and go through it so I'll leave those there show you when I'm assembling it. Also we have what looks like some curtains the instructions to be able to get it so that it's perfect for you. The awning itself and then you've got a nice little what looks like a wheel arch cover and a skirt for across the bottom should you need that. Obviously because this is for use with both a motorhome and a caravan 
those extras probably wouldn't be used on this but could be used on a caravan so there's all the bits that you get laid out so you can see let's get to actually sticking this on see how it looks so here's the instruction booklet something I don't normally do is read instructions however just having a quick glance at these because I've not put this one up before as you can see here really quite easy to follow nice big pictures for me so I don't have to read a great deal uh, and they go in number order all the way through as to how it needs to be put to be able to set up properly so I actually really like those um, not a great deal of text easy to follow so I'll be back to you in a bit so as you can see we've got the two sizes here for the universal fit for the motorhome or for the caravan so you've got the smaller diameter and the larger diameter which will go through the awning rail or the canopy whichever way that you're affixing this to either your motorhome or your caravan so they're both going to exactly the same position on the channel uh, so yeah universal really good be able to fit that to most things So as you can see here, I've simply thread the awning through the canopy rail onto the two-lay wind-out canopy to be able to affix it to the side of the motorhome. It's now freestanding and ready to inflate. The Venture Air comes with the air pump, which is quite simple to use. What I really like about this is it actually has a switch on it which gives you the option of either single or double inflation so what I take from that is on the downward stroke it will inflate however if you have it on double then it will inflate on both the upward and the downward stroke as you can see here this is where I change it over to make it a lot quicker to inflate the air on it And here as you can see with the single point inflation it's extremely simple to put up with one point it'll inflate both the main structural beam from your motorhome or caravan out and also the main beam at the front which gives it the rigidity in the structure so as you can see goes up very quickly As you can see here these are inflated and give a really nice seal against the side of the caravan or the motorhome these are also aided by a rigid pole which can also push up against the side if the weather turns really bad clever features I was wondering how this elasticated pole was going to go through obviously having tents in the past normally the tension of it goes through and then it pulls it nice and tight really nice feature what I like is what Isabella have done here is they've actually put a zip so there's three sections of this pole there's that bit then it bends at sort of like a 45 degree angle then goes straight again and bends at the other side so at both sides, here and here, there's zips. So once you've got the bent section up to where it should be, then all you need to do is that'll go round. You can actually put that into the, the metal stud at the bottom, which is here. So that'll hold it in position at the bottom. And then all you need to do is feed round 
and that will simply zip the rest into place so it holds it nice and tightly because anybody who's ever done this will know once you get one end in you go around to the other side the other end normally pops out or you have to go back to the front so great idea I just think it's a little attention to detail like that which obviously sets brands apart really pleased really impressed with that cracking little uh, cracking little addition now obviously to tension this almost rain canopy some canopy whatever just this little extra that keeps the uh, the rain off the front of your awning uh, is using the straps again another little clever addition just to secure your straps whilst they're all nice and tidied away obviously that gives you the the strap itself which also then all you need to do is clip onto the points and obviously you can use this is a two-point tension so you've got as much strap as you need here by letting it out which obviously once you've set it the first time to your desired length or depending on the weather if the wind's picking up you can obviously have a little bit more to be able to put your peg in to be able to keep it nice and tight away So as you can see, I've got a little bit more done. Rain stopped play, unfortunately, um, for quite some time for filming. So I've just been tinkering about on the inside. I've put the straps on, uh, as you can see here. Uh, and what I want to point out as well is this little feature. Obviously, I mentioned about the little straps so that when you actually pack it away, you can make it nice and neat. Also, when you've got your straps done, because you might have these unsightly bits hanging, you can also use these straps to run it down so it's nice and in line with it. And then just nicely tighten them out of the way so it holds the straps, obviously on all of the straps that you've got securing your awning. So again, handy little touches, nice little features. I know I keep saying it's about the little things that matter. When you're spending quite a bit of money you want things to be right and the other thing that I really like about this is the double stitching here if I can just show you all the stress points that you would normally have a double triple stitched and reinforced so that's on here up here and again even on the canopy really robust where it needs to be there's a lot of thought that's gone into that and those are the things that I really do like and make a massive difference to the longevity of a product. So, no, really impressed. Obviously, it's the first Isabella awning we've had and I can see why they're so good. So one thing I have noticed that's for me a little bit of a niggle, however it's overcomable, is that there is no fly screen directly when you're going into the side of your awning however that said when i said it's overcomable that is because if you're not using that to go in and out and you want some air through then what you can do is open the protective waterproof screen 
on the inside and then you've got this mesh don't know if you can see it on the camera particularly well but again a bug screen so you can get that airflow through so it's only a niggle that it isn't on the main door that you'd be coming in and out of but to be fair if the weather was that hot you'd probably have the front open anyway and you'd be using it as a sun canopy so just something to be aware of i think so another thing that you just need to be aware about normally i always suggest that you twist straps so that in the wind you don't get that flappy noise and what I normally do is I'll put a turn or two turns into a strap so that it is slightly twisted like this. With the Isabella, they've actually got, as you can see there, it twists with it. So something that I need to test is, will that stop the wind from making it flap anyway? Or will it just automatically take the tension out of the strap? I'm not too sure. So it's just something to be aware of again, but They've put that in as a feature. I actually quite like it because it actually articulates with the strap itself. So it's easy to put on, um, especially with these clips. So that's something to, uh, something to keep an eye on. And I will be looking at that over the time that we use it. So as it has been mentioned, we can use this as a sun canopy in its own right. Obviously with the side doors, they can be rolled back. They stay in situ. Uh, but they actually open up at the sides and you can have that fly screen at the sides to get the air through This entire section does come out. I'm not going to take it out because as you can see we've got the curtains in and we're using it as an awning You can either grab the straps and zip it this way So it obviously unzips all the way down the side And it will give you access so you can roll this up to the bottom and have it across the bottom Because there is a retaining strap which I can show you there to give you tension between the two main bracer beams at the side. Alternatively, if you want it to take it out, what you can do is you've got the zips there that you can have, take those to one side, and then you can zip it all the way down and obviously take it out and zip it back in that way. So you could have it so it's completely out. You would still have the strap, as I mentioned, but you've only got that strap there. So again, versatility for using it in extreme hot weather or just to sit out and give you a bit of shade from the sun or if it's just slightly dry, raining obviously again it's a canopy somewhere to sit out have a cup of tea i love it great feature that's brilliant thanks jules so as you can see we've now got the awning fully up on the motorhome so We've got two side doors. Now these unzip and they will roll back. They don't completely come out, but they'll certainly let air through. The air beams, they're situated one on each side of the awning against the caravan or motorhome to form a nice seal. We've got plenty of straps for obviously if the weather does turn. And as we come round, as Jules mentioned, we have got this canopy front and this is really nice. It's great whether it's a sunny day or to keep the rain off. You can probably see through here, we've got the Isabella curtains. Now there's a really good feature again here. There's a pole that runs across the top that you put in and then you attach the curtains. So that was again, very easy to use. So that's it. That's the Isabella Ventura Air Vivo W300. It's an air awning, it's suitable for caravans and motorhomes. It is certainly very good quality. Jules has taken about 40 minutes to put this up. It's the first time he's used it. He's been impressed with it. And as you know, he does quite a bit with awnings. It feels secure, well-made, and we've got the additional ground sheet inside, which has the Velcro as well. So there we have it. If you want any further details, I'll put a link in the description below to the Isabella website and you can find out a bit more for yourselves. So, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.